What's up, Calc Gang? All right, so we have a problem here with some mice and some uh, owls eating them. So I'm gonna explain the problem. So the problem is that we have a population of mice, right? And they increase at 50% per month, which is pretty quick, right? Okay, but then they also die at 15 per day. And it wants us to, you know, figure out like what's going on here. It wants us to solve everything. And yeah, let's just, let's just try to dive into this problem and really understand it. So the first part of this is it wants us to write a differential equation for this. Um, so how are we gonna do this? So the, the rate of the population, right? The, the way it changes with time, it's gonna be, you know, population in minus population out. Pop out. <laughs> okay, so let's write down what we know. So dt is equal to. Okay, so the population in is 50% per month. So that means that the, you know, the way that the population changes is dependent upon the population itself. That's like a differential equation right there, if anything I've ever seen. So 50% per month, uh, so it doubled, it basically, it goes up 50% of the population. So to express that, we're gonna say 0 0.5, 50% times the population, right? If our population is, um, say it's 100, you see it's gonna go up 50% per month. So if it's 100, it's gonna go up 50. Okay, but then we need to know population out. Population out is 15 per day, um, but we're in months here. So don't forget that, we need to figure it out. So it says, assume that a month is 30 days. So if you multiply 15 per day times the amount of months, it's gonna be 450 per month. And there you go, that's our differential equation right there, simple enough. Okay, part two, let's draw a phase line. Okay, so a phase line for this, let's go ahead and uh, put it out. So here's our population, here's our derivative population, which is a uh, function of our population. Okay, so when is this gonna equal zero? That's the first thing we want to know, is when are, where are equilibrium points going to be? So looking at this, it's linear, it's just going to have one equilibrium point, probably. Um, okay, so it's going to have our intercept here, this is negative 450. And then it's going to have some intercept here. Uh, as you can see, this is probably going to be 900. Uh, you can go ahead and do this the right way. So 0 is equal to 0 0.5p minus 450, so 450 is equal to 0 0.5p. And then you know divide by that, so it's going to be 900 is equal to the population. That's when the population is equal, or that's when the rate of the population. No, that's the population when the rate is equal to zero, basically. So it's just going to be a straight line looking like this. Okay, and uh, I made a mistake. So let's go ahead and draw our phase lines now. So we know that because this is under the graph, the phase line is going to be pointing to the left. It's going to be pointing away, and then this is above, so it's going to be pointing like that. So what we have here is an unstable equilibrium point. That population is equal to 900. That tells us that at 900, if we're above 900, it's going to grow. If it's below 900, it's going to decrease. And if it's at 900, it's going to stay still for, you know, all the time. That's the golden number right there. So now we can go ahead and draw another graph. That's the population versus time. And it'll look like this. So here's pop, or this is not population, this is time. This is population. Okay, so our equilibrium point's at 900. So let's draw our phase line. So this is uh, P is equal to 900 right there, and then this points downward. So we're gonna have our equilibrium solutions like that. And then so if it's above this, you have this arrow pointing up, so that means that it's gonna point upward, and that's gonna exponentially grow, right? So a solution up here would look something like this, exponentially growing up. If we have our solutions down here, it's gonna keep exponentially decreasing, and boom, that's when population zero, that's uh, extinction right there. But if we're at 900, it's just gonna stay at 900, according to this equation. Okay, so that's how we, uh, that's how you figure this stuff out. Uh, part C, uh, I kind of just explained that. So if P is, if the initial position, or the initial population is greater than 900, we're gonna grow towards infinity. If the initial population is 900, we're gonna stay still. If the initial population is below 900, it's gonna go to extinction. And for this last part, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this, just to figure that all out. It asks us if we start at a population of 850, uh, right? Yeah, if we start at a population of 850, how long is it gonna take us uh, to reach extinction? And in order to do that, we're gonna to need to solve our differential equation right here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. I'm gonna use integrating factor, because that's uh, the way I like the most. Okay, so, how are we gonna do this? So let's go ahead and subtract 0.5, right? 
or how about, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so p prime, and then you're gonna move that over, so negative one half p is equal to negative 450. Okay, so then we're gonna multiply both sides by mu. Okay, then we're gonna to need to find out when this is equal to mu prime. So mu prime is equal to negative mu one half. I'm sure you guys know a different way of doing this. This is how I like it. This is how I learned it. This keeps it simple for me. Uh, if you need an explanation, you can go back to some of my earlier videos where I explained it a little bit better. Uh, I'm not gonna to try to explain this too well. All right, ignore the cut. I missed a negative sign and I'm starting over. Okay, so mu prime is equal to negative mu one half. So let's go ahead and move this mu over to the one side. So one over mu, d mu, is equal to negative one half uh, dt. So if we integrate both sides, of course we're gonna get ln absolute value of mu is equal to e, or not e, negative one half t. And if we raise both, it's gonna be, uh, don't worry about the c, because it's not necessary, e to the negative one half t. There you go, I missed what I missed earlier. Okay, so that's what mu is equal to. So we can go ahead and plug that into here. So using the chain rule, uh, which I explained a little better, and I recommend you watch a better video than me for this, but it's gonna be e to the negative one half t population, and this is all prime, is equal to e to the negative one half t negative 450. Perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is integrate both sides with respect to dt. Okay, so this, because it's already prime, it's just gonna stay the same thing. And then this um, is going to become 900 because that one half is going to turn into a two and pop down with the negative and cancel out the negative. E to the negative one half t plus c. Okay, perfect. So then if we divide by this on both sides, we're going to get p is equal to 900 e, but then the e's are going to get canceled out. This is just going to cancel out that. So it's going to be plus c e to the one half t. Perfect. Okay, so let's, uh, we got a general solution, which is like, we're basically there. I have five minutes left, let's hurry up. Okay, so our initial population at zero is equal to 850, right? So then we're gonna set that equal to where the t is equal to zero. So it's gonna be 900 plus c, and then this is gonna be equal to one. So then if we move this over, we're gonna see that c is equal to negative 50. So then we can go ahead and write a particular solution. Is equal to 900 minus 50 e 50 e to the negative one or not it's negative right one half t okay let me make sure that this is right this time Forgive me again, I'm really dumb. Okay, there you go, this is our solution, not negative one half, just positive one half. Okay, so there you go, this is your particular solution. And now we're not done yet. I went, oh, I just sparked myself. Okay, now it wants us to find how much time it'll take until, uh, you know, until we reach extinction. So let's do that. So basically, if you want to sign where you reach extinction, you said population equal to zero. So if P is equal to zero, it's gonna be, I just sparked myself again. I'm going crazy. I'm like Electro Man. So it's going to be 900 minus 50 e to the 1 half t. So let's move this over. So it'll be negative 900 is equal to negative 50 e to the 1 half t. Then we can uh, divide by negative 50. It's 18, right? Is equal to e to the 1 half t. Uh, then we can ln this. ln 18 is equal to 1 half t. Multiply by two, so two ln absolute value, or not absolute value, but you know, just of 18 is equal to t. Uh, and then if you actually plug this to your calculator, it's about 5.78 months. There you go. So yeah, that's how you solve these kind of problems. Uh, I kind of erased it all, but yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, pretty tough stuff, but um, basically, as long as you just get started and you know what you're doing, uh, you can get the hang of it. So if you need some help, stick around, watch some of my videos, and uh, yeah, good luck on your differential equations homework, guys.